Hey guys, it's your girl Evidence. Please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and please do follow me on my socials and please do share this video. If you do like it, share it with your friends, like, comment, subscribe and hit that notification. Hello guys, so today I am going to talk a bit about my job. So basically the video that I'm going to do now is just to explain how the uh, charcoal is being produced. I mean, it's something that we need to kind of like learn and understand. So what we do actually is uh, I work for uh, a company that uh, helps small growers to become FSC certified. In uh, short explanation, FSC deals about the environment, social and environment uh, part of the forest business. So environmental, we look at the like all spillage, are we taking care of the environment? Because whatever that we do shouldn't affect the environment uh in a bad way for an example if there's like all spillage in the soil we happen to have the chemical runoff or the oils runoff if you if it's like uh chemicals chemical runoff if it's if it's not uh regulated or approved and then it gets to the rivers and then affects the water quality the fish we know we've got fish in the dams and all of that and then also if uh, the oils get into the soil it affects um it can also affect our trees that we plant and so many other things we know that we've got the good insects and pests that might be in the soil that we really need them which is beneficial to the soil so okay so today i'm going to be showing you a video that videos that i've, sh I've I took in fold whereby you see these big still uh, kilns that's where they basically burn the charcoal by saying burn they just don't burn it to ash it's more like baking and then it becomes like half bent that's why when we end up buying charcoal then we take that and then we use it for brine so now when the FSC certified charcoal become produced, it means that they have followed those uh, rules. Actually, FSC has 10 principles. And in some of those rules, they kind of like talk about the environment, how we take care of the environment, talks about the social part of things, like the employees that, that are working in full, they need to have like protective clothing. They have to be obviously paid a minimum wage. So it's, you know, it's taking care of, of, of the people as well. And also the community is a community being affected by the operations how do we maybe help communities to benefit from the operations maybe if there's like cut offs that they can use or given permission to collect use that as wood um so basically what happens uh like with the operations in matadiel uh what they do they are cutting water infestation we know that water can really infest the area where it's kind of like no space and um and yeah, what is is infesting most of the places in the uh, Eastern Cape. So these guys or the small growers, they are clearing the Watley, uh then to make charcoal. So basically, uh, they they clean up, and that kind of like benefits them financially to be able to pay the the people that are working there, which is producing uh, uh, employment, and they're also able to f at least feed their families. And this is really a great program. So what they do after obviously failing the the the, the water this is like silver water and black water they cut that and then a fell it cut it into pieces and then uh they let it dry air dry in field i'm not sure how many days because i'm not like fully involved in the operation and then they air dry it maybe for a few days or, or for two weeks or so depending on like you know the weather like how's the weather you know that when it's raining and all of that the wood won't like dry as quick and after that they put it into a kiln you'll see a kiln on the videos here uh, obviously i'm not going to be explaining that but you'll see that though those big kilns is where they put the the wood and then burn it and and all of those things so i think for me it was also like kind of like the first express expressing this though i've been in amoeba to some of these operations but i didn't get the chance to like ask a lot of questions on how it works but i mean i've been involved more with the software part of this operation and also 
been uh, doing internal audits for the plantations guys but maybe to explain about the plantation guys the plantation guys are just growing their their gums for poles or pulp so but yeah for me i i thought like wow the charcoal production is quite interesting because there's so many things that you do like it's nice it's it's stuff that we always use you know we use charcoal often than maybe logs i know we use logs maybe for our furniture and stuff but charcoal everyone loves brying you know so i thought this is like really cool so yeah guys uh just yeah check the the video and yeah just figure out i mean you can use common sense you'll see what's happening there you'll see guys they're picking up some of the charcoal there sorting it putting it in like bags and stuff and yeah that's basically uh one of the field operations or the field operations that i went to last week um was it last week yeah last week uh, with some of my colleagues so i'm really excited i'm seeing the work that the communities are doing because they're providing employment secondly they're able to feed their families and they're helping our environment by clearing this water. but if you want to find more about it i'll try to leave a, a, a short description here explaining like why they're clearing widely i don't want to keep this video long but you can also just google as yourself like why are we clearing what what is the benefit for the environment and all of those things you know google has everything so yeah guys thank you let's get to the videos Thank you. Thank you. Have we tested how hot these things burn? When I, the, the hottest I saw on the first burn was around 700 degrees. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. It's not an issue of oxygen. oxygen. Oh, thank oxygen. So, Lea, why in a Shabbat Parat? You know, the one, this is one and a half normal. This is the one I told. Oh, my Paul, I say she needs to see the Lea. Oh, and Puna Guti Paul. Oh, oh, Lea just for oxygen. Good to eat. He couldn't be now. Oh, I see. I remember the world's been through a hell of a. And, and you probably got a, an infinite quality steel in. You might, it's really easy to find out what steel, what the, you know, that guy is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, because he says that uh, uh, he just put in some more oxygen. So after 30 minutes, it's going to close and open elsewhere. Yeah. 
told that this is where we are. Yeah. 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 That's not what yeah. I know. No, yeah, that's <laughs> not we play. I don't even think the auditors boost the safety boost. Mm. I think Peter. it might be. I tried is to get closer, but... But the other one, tell him to give, tell him to give you his foot, and they can. But but today. <laughs>